Luna, you want to come here? No, I think she left. This is Tiffany. So look, me and Tiffany have really good conversations and we got to start capturing them. Yep. Brandon's got to eat, man. Hey, DoorDash. We were ordering a lot of DoorDash when we didn't have electricity. Yeah, that's a perfect segue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you want to tell them about what happened to our electricity? So there was a, there was a storm. We came through. Um, I was quite nervous. It, it was, was a tropical storm. It was loud. It was a tropical storm. It, it ain't was, no regular storm. It wasn't not regular. Not. It was not regular. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> it was very <laughs> abnormal. Irregular. It was an irregular tropical storm. And it was really loud. It knocked our power out for a little minute. It came back on. Uh, there was a guy came out, chopped the tree down. Long story short, the tree must have landed on a line. And it cut our power off. More like ripped our power line. Yeah. Out of the house. Dang. That's what it did? Yes. That's why we have a hole on the side of our attic now. What? Yeah. And that's like know. tomorrow, someone's going to come out and patch that hole up. Wow. Okay. So the power went out on Friday. It was a Friday evening, Friday night. Mm-hmm. And we didn't get power until the next Saturday. It was a week. I think it was a dope experience because some things had to happen during that time. And it wouldn't have happened if the power would have came on quicker. So it's cool how unfortunate events happen. But they push you in situations and around people. And you're able to have experiences that you wouldn't have had. For me, I'm like... Growing up, we only stayed in, like, literally one house for, like, a long time. So, we never, like, moved around a lot. So, I'm not very accustomed to, like, change when it comes to, like, sleeping. So, mm. maybe that's why I'm, like, a light sleeper as well. Mm. Is like, if there's anything that's different in my environment, I don't have a good sleep. And so, that week, when we didn't have power, man, I was sleeping at, like, every, like, different people's, like, houses and what? different beds and stuff. Hey. And I was like, this is the most beds I've ever slept in in my entire life how many in that one week. How many different places did you sleep throughout that week? Mm, probably, like, three. Just friends, family? Yeah, friends. Shout out to yeah. the friends. Shout out to the friends that show up. When your friends need you. Seriously. You know, that I feel like that's... Friendship isn't all about what you do and give to people, but that is a very key quality of a friendship. Yeah. The people that are there for you when you need them. Yeah. One of our friends actually let us sleep in their king-size bed in their master bedroom. That... That is true friendship. That's a right real there. friend. That's real. That is a real friend. Mm -hmm. Before I went to my parents' place... Um, like it was, I think it was the night of Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. Cause I slept here on Sunday when the power was off. You did? And I woke up cold as shit. <laughs> I'm so Cause sorry. Cause we didn't have no heat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have no heat. Oh. I was like, damn. And I had a client, she needed some work done that day. It was so much pressure on me that day. And I was like, dang, I ain't got no internet here. So I had to go downtown. I went to the Ritz. Oh. I went to the Ritz Carlton okay. and used their Wi Fi because you get free Wi Fi for like four hours. Yeah. <clears throat> so I went there and used their internet and I ate there too. Fancy. And then, right, mm. at the Ritz Carlton. Gotta change it up a bit sometimes, oh, you know? Oh, oh, oh. After the Ritz? After the Ritz, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's go? what I'm getting in my story. So oh, okay. I ate at the Ritz and then I left and then I put out a post and I was just like, I need somewhere to stay for the night. Who, who got me? And then a few people hit me up. And one of my friends I went to high school with, shout out to DJ Guate, she showed up and she was like, I could stay where where she is, her and her wife. So I spent the night with her on Sunday night. And mm -hmm. then I woke up Monday. And since I was right up the street, I got my dad to just drive up and just scoop me up. Mm -hmm. It was funny too, because we surprised my mom. Like my mom was at the dentist. My dad scooped me up. First, and then he went to go scoop my mom up from the dentist office, and she got in the car, and they was talking for a good like two minutes. She didn't know I was she in the back know. seat. Oh my god! She was wearing Georgia State clothes, 
So I was like, I just randomly said, I think I was like, uh, some nice Georgia State clothes you got on there. Oh my gosh, did you freak her <laughs> and out? And she froze like... for a minute. She was like, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> who is that? Yeah, that was yeah. funny. We were wondering where you were. Yeah. We're like, we haven't, we don't know where you are at all. <laughs> hey, one thing I know, I got a lot of people that, that love me and will show up. Mm-hmm. Even if I didn't have my parents. I have great parents, so I know I always have somewhere to go, but shout out to the people in my network. I got a lot of people that'll just open their doors for me if I need them. Yeah, kind of reminds me of the time when you sh- you were also shouting out like, hey, I need a, I need a place to stay. And I was like the first one to comment. I was like, yes! She was the first, <laughs> yeah. He was like the only one that really had a legit like place. An, I was being serious. Option. Right. And you wanted serious like answers, like responses. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid to like ask the universe what you what you need. Like ask for what you want. Mm. It's literally that simple a lot of times. People, yeah. People are prideful though. Like they don't wanna they don't wanna be public about when they need help. Right. But everybody wants to be public when they're doing good. Mm. So then you you give off the the impression that you got all your shit together when really a lot of times you don't. You don't. And it's, o- life. it's okay to be like, yeah. hey, I need some help right now. 